Hi, I'm Ryan Carter, the Metro Editor for the San Bernardino Sun. I'm here with Jim Steinberg, uh, Sun Reporter. Um, today, Jim was out in uh, Fontana um, at a Bank of America uh, downtown, and there was a protest uh, there. And uh, Jim, I'd like you to tell us a little bit about what you saw today and what you reported, and um, basically why it matters. All right, so what, what happened today? All right, Ryan, well, there were... Uh uh, about 15 people, most of them were from the organization MoveOn.org, and uh, they had uh, what you'd expect to see at a protest. They had uh, picket signs, and uh, they, they had a few slogans that they, they chanted, and, and basically the, the target was Bank of America, which has come under fire because they bought uh, uh, country, countrywide uh, mortgage company. And, and they're kind of the ground zero for the whole mortgage crisis. They did a lot of the uh, subprime lending that uh, led a lot of people to get in trouble to buy more house than they could have reasonably been expected to pay for. And uh, hence uh, a, big, uh, a big force in this whole um, foreclosure fiasco, which has hit the Inland Empire uh, in a devastating way. And uh, um, so the, the, the point was, and the reason for, well, the, reason for the uh, event today was that uh, uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina, the headquarters for Bank of America, um, they were having their annual stockholders meeting. So there were, there were similar protests around the country. In Boston, there was one that drew uh, 3,000 people. And by the way, there were like 24 arrests for trespassing there. It, it got a little rough there. The, the folks were really well behaved in Fontana, though. Uh, frankly, most of them were senior citizens, and they're very soft-spoken and uh, genteel people. But um, and the bank, uh, to their credit, um, they had a security guard who who did not come over to the protest, and he barely even looked over that way. There was no no evidence of any. If there were police officers from Fontana around, they were under deep undercover because I, I I'm good at spotting undercover cops even, and I didn't see anybody. So Jim. So what was their actual, um, what were they protesting? What, they, what did they want? They wanted a number of things. They wanted Bank of America to pay more, uh, more taxes. They wanted uh, Bank of America to work with uh, homeowners that are in the various stages of foreclosure, part of that huge portfolio they got from Countrywide. They wanted Bank of America to, to kind of go easy, to go slow, to uh, work with them about um, renegotiating the principal owed and, and the terms of payment to, to keep people in their homes more longer and give them a chance to, at least to uh, wriggle around and, and try and save their homes. Jim, um, why should our readers care? Well, the, the, the reality is, Ryan, that, that, that home building is the engine that pro has propelled us during the uh, propelled the Inland Empire, the Empire and the, 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 the Riverside San Bernardino area. You know, uh, back a few years ago, coming out of that uh, awful uh, recession with the military downsizing, what what led to the dramatic numbers for job growth in this region was was home building. We were just building homes for the whole Southern California area, and. Uh, that has collapsed, and that's kind of our engine. And a lot of economists say, uh, from, from many different perspectives, different economists are saying that until home building comes back, the Inland Empire is not going to really get out of this recession. We're going to be mirrored in it for years. So that's what's important. If, if, if Bank of America or the federal government or anybody can figure out a way to get home building on track, then we'll, we'll, we'll snap out of this, this recession. And obviously, I guess in tandem with that, one would assume anyway that keeping homeowners in their homes uh, and somehow getting a loan modified and that interaction between the bank and those homeowners right. is a good thing is a somehow good thing for the economy. For the economy and for society as a whole. Okay. Got it. Jim, thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah, okay. Thank you.